Hello, Brett here again, and today we're talking about what it's like being a Thai farmer dealing with all the chemicals. So we're about to go spray, and I was laying out the chemicals, and I thought, wow, this might be pretty interesting. So we'll see. I'll show you all the chemicals that we're using on the farm on a daily basis. Now it's a lot more complicated because we have flowers coming out and things like that. So every tree that has flowers needs something different than a tree that has fruit versus a tree that doesn't have anything. So let's walk you through it. So first we have pyridibin. It's a powder. It's a cheaper one and it kills red mites. Or in Thai it's called rai dang. And it's cheaper, but yes, le less effective as the next one. This one's called propargite, and this also kills the red mites. And that's more expensive, but a little stronger, more effective. And the red mites you have to spray, especially with durian, during the dry season. During the rainy season, you don't need it because it just they just get washed away. But during the dry season, they will kill all the leaves on your trees if you don't spray for them. So the next up, we got cypermethrin. This is the classic stuff everybody uses. It kills uh, a lot of different stuff. It kills worms, kills thrips. It's really very commonly used because it, it does kill a lot. And this is abramectin, or abba, as it's called. And this kills thrips and little worms also very commonly used and this is not that strong of one so if you're looking for one that's not too strong evermectin is good and this one is fipronil this one does thrips too thrips is the major thing you really got to worry about they're little teeny tiny but they suck the sap right out of the leaf and they just shrivel all the leaves up and if left untreated the tree will grow a lot slower and maybe even die and fipronil is great because it kills ants so what we do is we buy a little squirt bottle, put in a couple drops of fipronil, because that's all you need for one liter, and then you use it around the house like that expensive ant spray. It does just as good a job, except it costs five baht, or, you know, ten cents to make a bottle like that instead of paying 120 baht for one. Now, this next row is the food for the tree. So this one here is 13046, which is what we use for the Lumiai right now, which has got fruit that is pretty much fully formed. This is what you use to basically help the fruit get bigger and healthier. This next one is called a tonic, and the guy who sold it said it helps keep the fruit from falling. It was a powder, and we mixed it in with water, and uh, evidently you can save money that way. Instead of buying just the regular bottle for a thousand baht. This is 42424. This is what you spray the tree with as it's before giving flower and while it's giving flower. The uh, the two middle the NPK, which is what 42424 is, the three numbers, nitrogen, potassium, or nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. The 2424 helps the flowers and the fruit. So you're basically helping the tree store up phosphorus and potassium so that when it does need it to make fruit and make healthy flowers, it has it in the tree. This is calcium. This is what you give the tree when it has little tiny fruit on it and you want to help the shell. So the shell gets stronger so it doesn't burst before you're ready to eat it. Now this one is a new one we got. It's basically an amino protein kind of thing that helps the trees that are not giving fruit to just be healthy and green. And this one is called Berta Dog, like Bird the Dog. This is what Thai people swear by and they spray this before the flowers come out and this helps the tree make flowers. Now finally, we've got the fungus spray. This stuff is called metalaxil, and this kills the black rot, or the black, I think it's just called black rot. Yeah. And then this is 
carbetazim, and this is a protectant kind of, it's really like chalk. And when you spray the tree with that, it gives a nice protectant from fungus, but it doesn't really kill existing fungus. And this is hexaconazole, and this is a stronger antifungus than carbidazim. So when you spray a combination of these, I would only spray carbidazim or hexaconazole. I wouldn't spray both, but you can. If you spray, if you just go crazy and spray every tree with everything, you're going to really confuse the tree. And if you spray more than it needs, like with the with the insecticide or the fungus, you're just wasting it. Each bottle costs about anywhere between eight and fifteen dollars, so it's not cheap. But yep, so just give you, just want to give you a quick rundown with all the different crap we use. But uh, all right, see you next time.